Today is the first full day of new cross-state travel restrictions for Kentuckians put in place by Governor Andy Bashir. Now, this limits the acceptable reasons for Kentuckians to go to Indiana, Illinois, and other neighboring states. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett is live near the Blue Bridge in Owensboro with reaction to this. Mike? Michelle and Brad, uh, thousands of people use the Blue Bridge and other bridges to go between Kentucky and Indiana every day. In fact, uh, right now we see a, a, see a few cars on the bridge right now. Uh, two of them have just uh, headed south towards Owensboro. And some drivers we talked with earlier today say they understand Governor Bashir's reasoning behind the latest executive order, but many also wonder how effective it will be. They cross the state line for professional reasons. Every day I go to work to Alcoa. And personal ones. Mainly grocery shopping and the doctors and pharmacy. I got a son that lives in Van Zandt. He, he scared to death because he can't come over here. The executive order limits acceptable reasons to go out of state to work, grocery shopping, medical reasons, to care for a family member, or if required by the court. Governor Bashir says he's heard concerns from county leaders along the Kentucky-Tennessee state line about Kentuckians crossing the state line and returning home infected. I've been hearing about, about different people going different places and getting, bringing it back home. So it's not very good. Some companies gave their employees a letter to use to explain why they're on the road to get to work. Some Kentuckians say it can help reduce the chance of infection. Others are waiting and seeing. I don't think people are going to go over there as much as it was, but I think it'll cut down on the contact of others. I don't know. It might. Now, we've also been getting questions uh, from, from many of our viewers about whether uh, Kentucky State Police or other Kentucky law enforcement agencies will be watching uh, vehicles uh, at the bridges. But we didn't see any state troopers or sheriff's deputies at some of the bridges we were getting video of earlier today. And we also reached out to officials at the Kentucky State Police headquarters in Frankfurt to ask them about the possible enforcement, but our request was not returned. Live in Owensboro, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.